Welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion 2 Second Impact. Just to clarify, that's the second impact of the Let's Play, not not the game. The game's on its first impact. Uh I'm gonna play it safe and just Well no, I'm not gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it reckless and abandon that colony there. And also we're gonna need to find somewhere for what are you doing taking up space in that pool? Uh, the best researching place is probably going to be Large Bear in Abundance. That's pretty good. Ooh, Mirza has probably more potential in the end. Yeah, I'm going to put him here because... Uh, I could probably get a better manufacturing planet out of this large barren rich once I terraform it, but uh, not for a while, and that still won't really be taken advantage of. Or, like, a lot of my farming depends on Kunag being in my homeworld, so. Oh, now you want to load that. Well, there sure are a lot of technology. I want here. <laughs> um, I'm the one with Autolab, so I'm actually going to hang on to it even though I want all the like, It's hard to say no to heavy armor or battle station or, you know, any of those things. But that's why I'm in charge. I get to make those hard decisions. I'm not exactly how I am in charge. It's government is a unification, but I guess it's like communism where we're all equal but there's still one person in charge and we just try not to draw attention to that. Alright, now my research is starting to get pretty high so I am going to go for terraforming, but uh, no, yeah we're going for terraforming, it's just too valuable a technology to pass up on. And now we're going to try taking Blucher see how that goes. Die, space heal. The good news is these guys do have a bit less firepower. Plasma flux is like a pulse it emits. If I spread out, a lot of the time it's actually quite catastrophic. Yeah, or it could just die. Alright, so we've got that splinter colony too. For the record, it's a splinter colony for anyone, so whoever gets there first gets the three population. So to a certain extent it was luck that there were splinter colonies that close to me and I didn't have to build um, colony ships, but I got there first. Alright. And missile base will buy if need be. They've got decent production, so I'm going to just let them chug it out, because I am uh, not exactly rich at this point in the game. Normally I have a pretty good abundance of money, but I've been spending it this time, so I also uh, don't have a lot of places to farm, so. Oh, great. Cool down. Build me spies. Lots of spies. I want to be the most dishonest man in the galaxy soon. Oh, great. So we met the Trillarians, and the Antarans are coming, but not for me. Which is exactly how I like it. What interests me? Oh, you'll all trade for me, because I have auto lab. No dice. Also, the Sacra, I probably should have checked up on way before now. Actually, I'm just going to come out and say it. I definitely should have checked up on before now. Uh, maybe I can appease them with some sort of worthless technology. Have hydroponic farm. Alright. That's a problem. They're the most powerful race in the galaxy. I, uh... Whoops. Well, hopefully there will be an election soon. I can vote for them. No one will be offended ever again. You know, it'll be a good thing. 
All right, we've got terraforming now, which is of course important. Uh, I'm just gonna clear that level of sociology because it takes one turn, why not? Uh, fusion rifle I'm gonna take because I won't be using fusion beams. And battle scanner. I like tachyon communications as well, but Blaster. Look how fast the technology is going, hey? Can be one of those people who sort of makes vague statements about the world today. Yep. Technology's advancing pretty fast. Yep. Alright, I also forgot to immediately terraform all my planets, which is a huge mistake, and we're going to correct that right now. After we build space academies for some reason, because that's just how I roll. Don't know why I'm doing it. Alright. These guys have a fair bit of work cut out for them, so I'll just leave them alone to do that. Are they really making that much excess food? Wow. Alright, planetary gravity generator is going to be a big help, particularly for uh, Cold and Prime, I believe. Emo! Well, uh reject him for now. He could be quite beneficial, but uh, I'm pretty happy with mine. I might fire uh, Rally in there. She's not like such a good leader, because spiritual leader is awesome, but hey. Alright. No deal with them. That's too bad. We may have to, uh, you know, take care of that. Borathi have terrible spying technology and a few things I wouldn't mind having. Uh, none of it's essential right now, but I'm going to consider spying on them in the future. Maybe once I have a military. I don't really trust these ships in extended combat. You know, what with them running out of ammunition instantly. Also, it appears... Wasn't this Ursa? Wasn't this the Blarathi homeworld? Looks like they were on the wrong end of a war stick. No wars now, though. Also looks like the Sacra have settled something in the Trillarian homeworld. Alright, just checking up on a few things. The Nolans are pretty tiny. wonder who I should pick off first. I think the Blarathi are definitely frontrunners there. Okay, I'm running against the Sakura. People like me, that makes me happy. And as a token of good faith, I will vote for him against myself. If that doesn't make him happy, nothing will. Which is not something I'm entirely discounting. Hey, remember when I voted for you? Huh? <laughs> Somebody's grumpy pants. Alright, they finished terraforming. Enrich your soil and terraform again, fools. This'll be nice when all those planets really uh, get past that. Also, gravity generation will be nice. Alright. We're at kind of an interesting point. Um, I'm gonna try getting stock exchange just because I am. Okay. Sakura are orange. Their primary means of attacking me is probably going to be... Wait. The Sakura have declared war on you. They're not very good spies. They have technology I would like. It's too bad, you know. Atmospheric Renewer I would definitely appreciate. Pulse on Missile I would appreciate. Heck. Why am I not spying on you already? And... Xeno 
know psychology? Yeah, right. Spy technology. Now, I don't really know where they are going to attack because their only option for reaching me is pretty obscure. The lack of a balance of budget is going to bite me in the rear, though. They want gravity generator, hey? I'll give it to you. Dauntless guidance system is great. Your missiles will find new targets if the original target is destroyed. It beats losing them for nothing. But I'll see you next time.